So you just got off the press conference. Um, can you tell me a little bit about how you're feeling about how it went and what type of information that they released um, and how the investigation is, is going in your perspective? I know there's a lot of stuff that they're, they're working on that is uh, new stuff that made me very hopeful that I'm not going to go into, but um, I, we both know that they're working tirelessly, um, so I, I always feel good when coming out of there. They, they work very hard. And when you say, when you say hopeful, can you kind of explain what that means to you um, with these new, I guess, new leads, but, you know, what they're looking into? I, I'm, I, we both tried to stay hopeful through the, through the whole thing, but, um, the things that they're working on make me hopeful that we'll, we'll have answers eventually. And, and he'll come home. He's coming home. And they're not going to give up. I get in the chair. You get in the chair. So with, um, Buggy, come here. with the update that Huff gave when he said that they're looking in the area again, um, Hi, do you know, is, I mean, do you know kind of if they're looking at it's pe like people that you guys know or is it really just general or is there anything you can speak to on that or that? We, we don't really know anything other we, than there's, there's persons nothing that of we can speak on that matter and there are um they're looking into every lead and persons of interest um so um we don't know those and um, what i can say is that they're they're doing everything they possibly can everything they possibly can to find michael so is it, um, so Huff said, well, I mean, the family hasn't been clear that they've been cooperative. I mean, do you have any comment on that? Like, some people speculate that, oh, because the family hasn't been clear, that they're guilty, or they're this. But I mean, what do, what do you guys take away from that? Because obviously, it can be hard to clear somebody you know, just because everything is so outstanding, I'm, I kind of want to tell what you think about that. I, I think they're they're doing everything they can to find Michael, and um, like you said, it's extremely hard to be a hundred percent on on anybody. So it, we're just taking it as it goes, and I'm sure eventually we'll we'll get there. Have you guys been told otherwise? Because I know there's been rumors circulating around just online and even just around the community. Have you guys been told otherwise about being cleared? We are um, working with law enforcement 100%. And I will say that they are a very, very big part of our lives continuously. and. We will continue to work with them 110%. So when everything is cleared, or... <laughs> when, when they're ready to take that step, we're, we'll be grateful. But we know it takes time. Um, and just with information that's been released in the past year, I mean, it was pretty consecutive in the first early months started to slow down a little bit just from uh, police, um, and now it's been a while. This was the first press conference we've had since November, um, which I guess kind of contributes to just speculation around the community. With the lack of information that's been released from police in the past six months, which has led to this speculation, do you think law enforcement should release more information or 
just to combat those people that are coming up with these theories? Most of the theories, I think, are completely not grounded in reality for the most part. Um, and um, I wouldn't want them to release anything that jeopardized the case. I mean, the person that has Michael could be could be watching, and I mean, it's it's. I wouldn't want them to put anything out that they shouldn't. I, I believe they've done an amazing job and they continue to do an amazing job. And they're... They're not... They know the facts. They know the truth. They have the truth. And the things they are working on is very important because Michael is our son and they want him home just as much as we do. So um, for them to do what they're trying to do and their jobs is highly important. And I respect that. Yes, it is frustrating at times. But, um, yeah. Uh, back in December, you told me that you believe Michael was taken. Do you still feel that same way today? And has there been new developments or anything that's made you feel more strongly about that? Yes, sir. Wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. And we're going to find him. And whoever decided that they could take Michael, they need or has information. <laughs> they need to come forward. It's been almost a year. It has been 351 days. Don't know. Don't know. We, we don't definitely know. feel that he was taken. I mean, there's been, well, Tristan's been here from the beginning, but it was they thousands won't. of people here. It, like, he, he's not here. So he must be somewhere else. Tyler, can you walk us through just that night? you were home with the kids. Can you just walk us through everything that happened uh, last July? Went back to change bug. Um, Michael was playing on his switch. Um, she was sleeping, so it took a minute for me to rouse her. And then I changed a diaper and ordered pizza. Probably took me I don't know, 15 minutes maybe, and came back out and went outside to smoke and Monkey wasn't outside, so I figured he was inside with his brother, wasn't inside, and then I started to freak out and it's all kind of a kind of a blur from, from there, just running all over the neighborhood and... Pickle, pickle. <laughs> Hi, pickles. Did you, um... What time was that? Um, I... I ordered the pizza at 6.40. I really don't, couldn't tell you any other time stamp behind besides that with 100% certainty. And I don't even know if that's when I entered the order or when I finished the order or or what? I the receipt said six forty. And were you in the house?
house when you ordered or were you outside? No, I was in, in the back bedroom with Bug. Uh, and following, I mean, when you realized that you didn't know where Michael was, I mean, what did you do then? Did you knock on neighbor's doors? Did you... I, I came outside and I looked down the street and I hopped in the car and called Brandy and drove to the splash pad and and then all over the neighborhood, walking, running, driving. Like I I couldn't tell you where I mean, I I didn't leave the neighborhood, but all all up and down this, you know, eighth street complex I I was we were both all over. Um, some of the people that like to speculate um, are wondering, well, you know, why did you call Brandy? Why didn't you just call the police first? I mean, what was your rush? What was your thought going in into that? I mean, obviously, it probably wasn't rational because you were anxious. Um, but I mean, can you just explain a little bit about your process in that way? I was scared and she was the first person I thought to call I I needed her home as fast as I could because I was panicked and out of my mind just going off of that question I just think a lot of the stuff online as well. I mean, last person to see is people speculate about that. What would you say just to people to help clear your name a little bit? Yeah. The, I mean, anybody that's looked into the timeline, I feel like, it, I mean, I there was no time for me to do anything. Not to mention I didn't leave the neighborhood besides in a cop car for two or three weeks. Okay. I mean, I, there was thousands of people everywhere. I mean, I, there's nothing that I could have done. I mean, I, I don't know how some people don't see that, but. Talk to me about your relationship with Michael. Yeah. What? Was he like to you? Is, yeah. sir. Mm -hmm. Is. What is. What is he like to you? He's my best little buddy. He's. We do, you know, comic books, monster trucks. He's the sweetest little boy in the world. He was always trying to help. Oh. He's perfect with his sister. They have an amazing relationship. Both his sisters. Both his sisters. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, he's a wonderful, wonderful little boy. And he, he doesn't deserve this. What do you tell Buggy after it's been this long? I mean, how do you explain to such a small child, like, what's going on? I know that's really hard to answer, but um, I mean, how, how do you tell her? Um, we can't say when our older two go to their guides um, that they're bye bye right now because that's the only thing that I could figure. I, 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 for two months, I didn't know what to tell her. And she had just really started talking at that point, and so we don't, we don't say bye bye, because Monkey is just bye bye right now, and he, he's coming home. He, he'll be home. He's just bye bye right now. So. Does she ask? Pick up his, she pick up his pictures and give him kisses. Set him up in front of the coffee table and watch TV with him. I mean, 
she pulls out his Batman cave and Like a very headstrong little girl. Oh, yeah. I wonder where she gets that from. She's, she I don't know where she gets that from. <laughs> <laughs> Looking back as we approach one year mark, what do you, besides finding Uncle, bring him home? What would you like to see? law enforcement? What would you like to see the community? What would you like to see the world continue to do? Keep the space out there. Don't let the story go away. Bring him home. Bring him home. Let's yeah. hope that, you know, somebody finally sees one of these or somebody finally gets the courage to come forward and uh, give that tip that leads us to him or or maybe the person that has him, you know, drop him off at a hospital or a police station or, or, you know, whatever. Just let him, let him come back home. You mentioned hope. What does hope look like right now? The strength with law enforcement and our community members and our family. Um, all of us standing strong that None of us are going to stop. Not a single one of us will stop. Michael is going to come home. And we're going to do the best we can to help others as well. Does it feel like it's been a year? <laughs> it was a very quick year. And long year at the same time. Like it's time is... It can't be thing. a year. It can't be. How do you... I mean, how do you go through every day without him being found? I mean, it's been a year. What, the, what does your day-to-day -day look like? I mean, you just... Every day is a struggle. It's kind of how we do it is, is day to day. You, I don't want to get out of bed <laughs> every day. I, but we do it. We do it and we try to keep our stuff together. <laughs> you try. And, and just get through every day. Hoping every day gets us closer to, to being whole again. I'm not sure how familiar were, you were with law enforcement and just how this whole system works before. Are you, do you guys read, study other missing children's cases? And do you compare Michael's to other missing children's cases? Do you see timelines? And is there anything you've learned or obtained just in this last year that's kept you going? Or is there any cases that are similar to Michael's that you've seen success from? Yes. I, I, I have. Um, you know, it's very hard, right? I, I stay off of the social media. Um, there have been a lot of cases that have brought hope, and I continue to share those and um, <laughs> oh, he's taking over this interview now, huh? Um, <laughs> well, you're gonna be a reporter. Oh. <laughs> 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 Bugs. There are, I want to help wherever I can, and we, our whole family does. 
We got the monkey's law out there, and there's um, there's at least one more big one that um, other states have that Idaho does not that I would like to see um, implemented here that I that I think would have been a, a huge huge tool um, at the beginning of this. So, so when you say big one, like, like an alert, is what you're referring to? Um, not an alert, um... Hi, Dad! Hi, Mom! I don't really know how much I can go into it, but right. there's... Uh, it has to do with warrants. Like, um, in some other states, they wouldn't have had to do the warrants. They would have just gotten the information they needed. Procedures for law enforcement right to be able them. to utilize the tools that they needed. Um, At, at their discretion wow. instead of waiting, you know, having to write up a warrant and wait six wait months for, for a judge you know, and a handful of information when there's, you know, 20, 30, 40 handfuls of information that they need, but they can only get so much at a time and they have to wait for the warrants to come through for all that. And so, so this process has been pretty long. Yes. Yes. And there's there's a law that could be changed that would have made that part of it a lot shorter. You mentioned this back in December when we spoke, uh, talking about who you turn to in times like this. What kind of support groups are out there? Nobody knows what you guys are going through besides you guys. You mentioned it, it doesn't get easier. Some days you just want to stay in bed all day. Have you guys found more support just in this past six months since we last spoke? <clears throat> Randy's been um, pretty heavy in counseling since the beginning. I'm in a peer group um, through the uh, John Walsh Foundation. I help them to help. Um, so I, I speak with uh, another lady every, every week about and she's been through a very similar situation, so it's um, that's helped me. Um, We've I also tried the with um, a few other foundations. Yeah, we've they've been very helpful. Um, Kane and Melissa. The Karen Hartman Foundation has been extremely helpful. I mean, not maybe necessarily the same situation, but. Can I sit down? <laughs> Piggybacking off, you know, the whole thing that you have, what is, I mean, where does that come from? Like, where, is it information? Is it, um, you know, faith or beliefs or just a gut feeling? I mean, where, where does hope come from within you? We, we just know we can't give up, and so we have to have hope. And as hard as that is sometimes to, to hold, we, we have each other, we have family, and just... We maintain that hope that he's coming home. Are you back? Yeah, I know we seem like it. <laughs> um, on my last question, uh, at the press conference today, uh, Chief Hoff said that there have been some people that are uncooperative. Um, when you heard that, is, was that new information to you? Is that something that you guys heard before, um, what kind of feeling do you get? Excuse me. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're probably like, why are these cameras on here? <clears throat> yeah, but that's... Or they know, and... What is that like? Just, you guys have to kind of keep a close eye on a lot of stuff. 
everything. Yeah, I mean, just we've only aside, we've only had one well, bad scenario, but right. we do have to deal with stuff like that on law enforcement the was daily. right here in a minute, so less than a minute. <laughs> Yes. Uh, yeah, they, it was a private um, press conference at the when we did it inside the and city no hall. Time. Somebody followed us home from that press conference and it turned into a... Not a great scenario. So. Um, but yeah, that's my other question. Just, you said that people have been, some people have been uncooperative. What kind of feeling did you guys get? What's going through your mind? Why would you not cooperate? Why? Like, it's been almost a year, and you have watched us walk every inch of this town every day. We work locally. I, why you see us? You see us every day. You see our family. You see our children that are heartbroken. All of us are heartbroken. Why wouldn't you be? Yeah, it's a missing okay. child. Why wouldn't you? And are these are these people that law enforcement has made you aware of, or is is it just they've kept it kind of under wraps, like specific people? That's to their yeah to their discretion. Does that? I, I I guess there's part of you that's like I want to know every part of this case. I want to know every piece of information. But also law enforcement not giving you every single piece of information. Does that give you a good sense that they're doing what they know is right? Yes. I personally have kind of left everything up to them. You know, I'll, I'll report stuff that comes to me, of course, when it should have gone there in the first place. But um, I would say at the beginning of it, we were both very, like, we want to know everything, and then, uh... Why? There was... Daddy! And there are certain things that, um, that happened that changed my mind really fast about wanting to know everything. Um, you know, there's some not very nice people in this world and um we have Hello. we have learned that the hard way yeah can you go inside i'm crying okay, we'll climb in a second okay Papa, help you climb. Papa, climb. <laughs> the attention is immediately different. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there anything you guys just mm -hmm. want to say before we, before we go? Just, we appreciate the police department and all the agencies involved for keeping doing what they're doing. We appreciate Tristan. He's been very good about keeping the story out there and we want our baby home. Please. If somebody knows something. Please. Use your strength. Use your courage. Please come forward. Michael deserves to be home with us and our family. His baby sister needs him. His big sister, his big brother, all of us, we all need him. He needs to come home and climb trees with his big sister, little sister. So, please, if. Please. We are begging as a family, as a whole as a community, <laughs> as the world, um, we're begging, please have your strength and courage to give us 
something to bring Michael home. And Monkey, we love you. And we miss Whoa, you. Are you no. If, uh, what is that? we were to get into Michael's that, head a little bit, would he have that, known that, if he was taken, that, would he have known that he shouldn't be going with these people? Where's the, where's the, where's the, and would he try to protect the people? You're going to go play with the whistle in that yard. He knows where he lives. Whoa. What's he that? Knows, What's he that? knows what city, what state he lives in. What's and that? He knows that. Here. That. Whistle. Whistle in the Mommy's name. Mommy's real. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go with so, Papa and play the whistle in the backyard. Um. Uh, work, we were working on phone numbers Papa, Papa, the and the address, no. but he does know where he's supposed to be. Hey! 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 I believe he would have. Yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> what have they done? Yeah, the police officers are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you. Yeah, we appreciate it.